Hi everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Matt's Ramblings. Today I'm going to talk about an anime series that I just finished watching called Neon Genesis Evangelion. That's it, I'm turning back. Now, this is an anime I heard a lot of good, a lot of bad, a lot of mixed feelings on, so I decided I should just watch it for myself. And I did! I marathoned all 26 episodes in like, a week. And then I just watched both the movies this past weekend as, I, as I'm uh, recording this. Actually, I had just watched Death and Rebirth <laughs> right before filming this. So... I had already watched End of Evangelion before I watched Death and Rebirth, but anyway. So this isn't going to be like a typical review, you know, where I give you a plot summary and shit like that. I'm just going to dump my thoughts on the series onto on camera. So without any further yapping, it's a mecha anime. Uh, it came out in the uh, 1990s, and it's it's definitely... You can tell, it's got that 1990s anime cheese to it, kind of like, um, think about like early Dragon Ball Z, or like, um, yeah, early Dragon Ball Z, it's got that like that cheesiness to it, at least with the voice acting anyway. I have never watched something that made me ask myself, what the fuck is this, so many goddamn times. This is not your typical mech anime. This will make you think, this will make you scratch your head, and this will make you say, what is going on? I don't get this. And chances are, nobody except for the creator will actually get it. <laughs> because the creator, he developed the series after, either after or during a four year long depression after a previous project of his had financially failed or something like that. And uh, you can definitely tell the creator had some mental issues that he decided to get out there. Uh, this stems from depression, anxiety, like just being antisocial in general. Probably sexual frustration too because End of Evangelion is super fucking sexual for some reason. I don't, just, just watch the first three minutes. You'll understand what I'm talking about in the first three minutes. It's ridiculous. <laughs> as mind fucky as this this anime gets, and it gets really mind fucky. Like it 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 gets deep in there. Like you you start to get hints of the fucking like the deep philosophical shit at around like episode fifteen or sixteen, and then definitely the last two episodes of the TV show get really into it. Like, it's an existential crisis by the end of the TV show. Like, what? Again, it's it just... I just sat there watching both episode 25 and episode 26 just like... What? This is so abstract and just so out there and just so different from what the series was earlier. It's just like, what? I, I didn't understand a whole lot of it, but it was interesting. And I'm not, th this is not a bad series. This is a really good anime series, and I implore you to watch it. Even if you're not a fan of anime, you might see something in this series that you'll enjoy. Whether it's the, the angels, or the Ava units, or the characters themselves. Minus Shinji. I don't... Why was Shinji the main character? I don't know about you guys, but I really do not relate to Shinji that much. I just, I don't understand why he was the main character. He's such a bitch. Like, he's more of a bitch than Eren Yeager in Attack, of Tit in, uh, Attack on Titan. Again, e every character in the series is supposed to be some aspect of the creator's soul. Asuka took me a couple episodes to, like, even consider liking her because of, you can tell just off the bat by her appearance that she's a bitch. <laughs> she's, she's definitely a sundere. Yeah, she's one of those, <laughs> you know, the fiery redhead of the series. And then Rey, there, there's a reason Rey doesn't get character development, and I'm not going to spoil anything for you right now. There's a reason she doesn't get much character development, but I'll let that, I'll leave that for you to discover. The only character I really liked 
um, uh, Katsuragi. She's pretty cool. She's really complex. Um, I also like Kaji. It seems like the side characters are more, co more complex than the main characters. At least that's how it appeared to me. Asuka's, Asuka is actually a pretty three-dimensional character, but it, it takes a while. Once you start liking her, it makes more sense, but I, I just, again, it was hard for me to relate to Shinji at all, and I know his entire design was to be relatable. It was super difficult for me to relate to Shinji. And I'm sorry if this uh, video is a complete incoherent mess. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't plan anything out, I didn't write down a script or anything, I, like I said, I literally just watched one of the movies. And in my honest opinion, unless you need a recap of the TV show before you watch the movies, completely skip over Death and Rebirth. I promise you, because you're, you're not really missing anything. There's a few additional scenes during the first part called Death, that's about it. And then the last, and then Rebirth is just the first third of End of Evangelion. So unless you really need that hour-long recap of the TV series, then just skip this movie. I would just watch the entire TV series and then End of Evangelion. But other than that, just watch it in that order. I might watch Rebuild of Evangelion at some point, the reboot film series thing that's been going on. But uh, as of right now, I'm... I am tuckered out on Evangelion. It was such a weird series. It's a good series. Uh, it'll definitely have you thinking. It will definitely make you ask yourself what the fuck so many times. Like, I haven't asked myself what the fuck is going on since I watched the two other Matrix movies. It's, shut up, phone. It, it's, it's such a good series. I know, I'm, I'm repeating myself a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna end the video here. And I highly recommend watching Neon Genesis Evangelion if you want to know what the hype is all behind it, if you want to be in on the memes, <laughs> and if you just like mech anime or anime or it's like psychological anime, definitely watch it. Um, that's all I gotta say. See you later.